It's true. More people type the word Zillow into Google than type the word real estate into Google. I mean, the Zillow brand has become synonymous with real estate, which is amazing. We're killing it. Yeah, this estimate is a really accurate uh, computer model about home values. You should never use a small falsehood. Always a big one. <laughs> For its very fantastic nature would make it more credible. If only you keep repeating it over and over and over again. A really accurate uh, computer model about home values. Yeah. Zillow is by far the most uh, widely used real estate site by a mile, and so these estimates are, are prominent. And uh... WGN investigates tonight. It's information many people rely on, online estimates on what a home is worth. But are those estimates accurate? Could affect millions of homeowners. If you've ever bought or sold a home, you've likely gone to the site to get an idea of the home's value. The online real estate giant Zillow. It's been a huge roadblock to selling the house. That's part of the problem. People are relying on these estimates to decide how much a home is worth. She's saying this hurt her ability to sell her home. What's that about? It makes good sense. Zillow's posted home value of her home is hurting her ability to sell her home. The Zillow website has the home's estimated value at about $1.3 million below his market price. They say it's a starting point, and it is a starting point. Reliable? No. So we have marked down the home almost to cost now, which is $1,995,000. And Zillow is saying it's worth how much? $1,167,000. A typical buyer checks his estimate and thinks her home is worth less. The algorithm is a very flippant, nonsense approach to looking at your home's value and should not be used in any regard. It has no basis in sound appraisal techniques. Because there's a bit of a kerfluffle for, for talking about your estimates. Zestimates can be off by as, as much as 40%. But here's the rub. Every consumer out there knows about his estimate. They always check it, and so the consumer is using it as though it's an appraisal. It says his estimates are misleading. That doesn't sound so great. <laughs> My life savings are tied up in this house. That's a big difference. That's an impossible difference. A really accurate uh, computer model about home values. <laughs> As you probably already know, Zillow is by far the number one real estate search website in America. As you can see from recent stats on the most popular real estate websites in the United States, as of May 2018, Zillow enjoyed 36 million monthly visits, well ahead of the number two real estate search site, Trulia, which had 23 million visitors that month. In addition to the fact that Zillow has created a legitimately great user experience, one of the big reasons people love the site so much is because of the Zestimates it provides on theoretically every home in America. But before we go any further, we should probably explain what a Zillow's estimate is, just in case you don't know. What is the Zestimate that you provide? <laughs> the Zestimate is Zillow's computer model's opinion of what every home in the country is worth. In defense of Zillow, they do state explicitly that the Zestimate is not an appraisal and that it is a starting point in determining a home's value. We have absolutely no issues with those statements. And before we go any further, and in the interest of full disclosure, we'd be remiss if we didn't state for the record that the litigation relating to Zillow's estimates was dismissed. So, if that litigation relating to Zestimates was dismissed, Zestimates must be okay, right? Not really, because the reasons for the litigation persist irrespective of the dismissal of the lawsuits. And why do those reasons persist? Keep watching, we'll let you be the judge. When communicating about Zestimates, Zillow's use of median average as opposed to mean average is inherently misleading. Here's a really quick illustration of how the use of median versus mean can significantly distort perception. As you can see from this example, when examining this specific population of numbers, we get very different results depending upon whether we're talking about median average or mean average. Using median average, we get an average of five, which we think is very misleading with respect to the true nature of this population. 
Using mean average, we get an average of 25.7, which we think is accurate and conveys the reality of the inconsistent nature of this particular population of numbers. Not only that, but Zillow has made it basically impossible to calculate the true mean average error rate of Zestimates from the information Zillow provides on its website, and that's probably by design. Using the data they do provide on their website, and within the admitted confines that that data presents, we did our best to calculate the most accurate estimate possible of the true mean error rate of Zestimates. As you can see here, we calculated that estimated error rate as being just a little below 8%. To make sure we weren't too far off base in our thinking, we did a couple of additional things. First, we reached out to someone we know who has a graduate degree in economics with an intensive emphasis on statistics. Without telling this person the source of the information we were giving him or why we were asking, we provided him the data from Zillow's website and asked him to estimate the error rate of the related population. As you can see, his estimate was 8.16% which was very close to our estimate of 7.89%, and that made us feel our estimate wasn't too far off base. Second, we did an admittedly unscientific analysis of our own market. On September 21, 2018, we chose the 40 highest priced residential properties in our local zip code of Plymouth, Michigan, which is 48170, and we summarized the Zestimate error rate for those 40 properties as of that date. As you can see, we found some serious discrepancies between list prices and Zestimates. In total, the averages were as follows. If we allow for negative error rates, which serve to reduce the true error percentages, we see that we had a mean average error rate of 9.33%. If we don't allow for negative error rates and we treat all errors on an absolute value basis, we get these results. We get a mean average error rate of 10.8%. These results would seem to corroborate the point we're ultimately trying to make here, which is that Zillow's use of median error rate is very misleading, particularly when you can consider how different the results are when you compare median average error rate with mean average error rates. Beyond that, Zillow does a great job of languaging around the true error rate of Zestimates, and we believe this selective presentation contributes to the fact that people rely on Zestimates more than they should. Yeah. It depends upon what the meaning of the word average is. Yeah. Here's what we mean by that. As you can see, we copied and pasted this copy directly from Zillow.com. What we hope to illustrate is the fact that there are two different ways to look at this information. You can stop this video and read all of this, but allow us to share the highlights. 44.5% of all Zestimates are wrong by more than 5%. Speaking as real estate professionals, if this was our level of accuracy, we'd be out of business very quickly. 24.3% of the time, nearly a quarter of all instances, Zestimates are off by more than 10%. Please stop and really think about that. That is a super high level of inaccuracy, a very high percentage of the time. In the real world of real estate, this level of inaccuracy is simply unacceptable. And finally, 12.4% of the time, Zestimates are off by more than 20%. 20%. Again, please consider how extreme that level of inaccuracy really is. To have that many homes off by that much? Seriously, we think that is insane. Because of this extreme level of inaccuracy, coupled with the degree to which so many people trust and rely on Zestimates, we believe it is borderline reckless and irresponsible for Zillow to continue to present Zestimates on their website. And that leads us to our next point. Spencer Raskoff is the CEO of Zillow. We have nothing but respect for Spencer. He has created an amazing company and he deserves the lion's share of the credit for creating such a clearly outstanding user experience for users of Zillow.com. That said, we do take umbrage with the manner in which he speaks about the accuracy of Zillow's estimates, as we believe his public declarations most certainly contribute to the degree to which people rely on and trust those estimates, particularly given what we've already shared with you about the true 
true accuracy of Zestimates. Here are some things he said publicly. A year ago when we launched, Zestimates had a 14% error rate to now, today, a 5% hmm. error rate. That type of information empowers consumers. It helps people make smarter decisions. We're killing it. Uh, when we started about 10 years ago, uh, Zestimates had about a 14% error rate, and we calculated them monthly on about half the country. Today, Zestimates have about a 5% error rate. I mean, we're still killing it. Yeah, the Zestimate is a really accurate uh, computer model about home values. Not only that, but we think it's a little bit rich of Raskoff to tout the accuracy of Zestimates, given the fact that his own home sold for 40% less than the Zestimate said it was worth. To be clear, this video is not intended to be an indictment of Zillow in total. We think it's a great site offering the finest real estate search experience available in the United States today. The purpose of this video is to illustrate one key point. Zillow's Zestimates are not to be relied upon by anyone who is interested in making sound decisions when it comes to buying or selling a home. And when it comes to Zillow's Zestimates, just say no. They say it's a starting point, and it is a starting point. Reliable, no. Our advice, find a true real estate professional who can provide you honest, accurate information about any home you are thinking about buying or selling. If you don't know anyone like that, please, by all means, download our free Zero Strings Attached document we created exactly for this purpose called 16 Questions You Must Ask Your Next Real Estate Agent. It's pure knowledge, it's pure education, it's pure valuable content every home buyer or seller can put to use instantly. Not only that, we don't even require you to opt into anything or to provide any contact information. Thanks for watching and happy house hunting and home selling.